Hello, my name is Stuart Wright from Frightfest TV. Welcome, the Soska sisters. Uh, no strangers to Frightfest, like it's safe to say. No, not at all. How does it feel to be back for a, another world premiere? It feels so good to be back here. I promise I won't make any more movies about viruses taking over the world. No. No more. It's all about sexual healing now. I think we're too powerful. Yeah, it's just so nice <laughs> to be back for Halloween because for us it's like Christmas. Yeah. And it's our third time at Fright Fest. This is our third original film. And I was telling Paul, without Fright Fest, I mean, all of our movies get launched here. So nowhere else would rather be. So on the edge, do you want to tell people what's that, what's that about? Where, where, does that start? In fact, where does that start for you as an idea? Oh, wow. Well, it's our uh, first psychosexual thriller, mm -hmm. and we've been wanting to do something a little bit more adult. And this is a gift to Mr. Cronenberg and to Madonna, who were huge inspirations for us throughout our life. And it's technically, at its very base level, about a gentleman who books a 36-hour session with the dominatrix, who just might be the devil. <laughs> you know, I hope there aren't too many movies about that here. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying... Well, I like the fact that your you little nod to Angel Heart with Mistress oh, yes. Santana and, and Louis oh, Seifert. Well, of course you would pick that up. Of course you would. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I spotted it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but also, it's it's a film that starts off as a as, as an intense, mm -hmm. I guess, devilishly devilishly wicked film. Oh yes. And because of the the idea that he's hired somebody yeah. for 36 hours, we're not sure as an audience where the play and where the punishment. Yes begins and ends but also you flip us by a hell of a midpoint where <laughs> where no this is no longer the film you thought you we were watching so what were the storytelling challenges for you guys to sort of get us to that point you know and then take us because then we're all on the back foot after that <laughs> well we were thinking because of covid and uh um having a film set where your actors are almost always naked, so we are already going to have a very closed set. Mm -hmm. And we were shooting in one location for the majority of it, so we're thinking, how can we make this exciting? How can we go further from what people think? So we wanted to give the experience of an S&M King session for people who didn't even know how to ask for certain parts of it. Yes. And then to really understand uh, the character, something happens where we get to go inside their head so we can actually see and understand them to maybe a level we wouldn't otherwise. Yeah. 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 I really like subverting expectations. And I think a lot of people outside the kink community have certain expectations of what it's like inside of it. But we wanted to really take you in a direction and take you all over the place in this. You don't know how the movie is going to end from the first way it begins. Yeah. Which makes me very happy. Yeah, we're hoping this does like what American Mary did for Body Mods. I hope but On the Edge does this for kink culture where people are like, oh, it's not weird. You saw On the Edge, right? That's a normal thing to do. <laughs> Hold on. Well, let me, just, let me just compute what normal things to do is first. <laughs> normal by our definition. <laughs> be it might be different by your own. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But I love I love the uh, the lit where, where the film does that switch yeah. where we see his point of view, and it's seeing what reveals to be you know yeah. someone from hell. Uh, but also, you as far as I can tell, you were aping the paintings in the hotel room in that moment, almost like. It, he became part of the, the hotel. Oh, I'm so glad you saw that, yeah. It was a little bit like The Shining. We were trying to make it feel like The Shining, okay. like kind of going insane and being the yeah. same kind of location, especially if you started a, a, the film not mentally well, yeah. how uh, how that narrator will determine the story that you're seeing. Yeah. yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the paintings were very specific. Our friend uh, did two of them, uh, the bod, the kind of kinky ones yeah. are done by an artist named Krista Rose. And the ones in the bedroom are actually originals by Clive Barker. Oh, wow. I know, right? They were They're gifts great. from our time with Clive. And uh, I just love them so much. So I thought Clive would definitely approve. This is his kind of movie. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, I just thought it was, it's like I've never seen that before where, where a painting becomes a setup for a twist in the story. I thought yeah. it was a really nice move. Oh, yeah. oh. It. <laughs> you got it. Thank you. And on and on that bombshell, thank you very much for giving us your time on Frightfest TV. Thank you for having us. My thank pleasure. you.